Welcome back everyone. My name is Chef Dave with the Platinum Chefs and today what we're going to be doing is cooking kabocha squash. Now kabocha is spelled C-A-B-O-C-H-A. -A. I've heard a lot of people call it different things. That's how um, I call it. We've even heard people say kabota. Now that's a tractor, it's not a squash, so it's kabocha squash. And um, we use about a three to a four pound uh, kabocha squash. And it's one of the few squashes that you can actually eat the skin or the outer covering. When it's done, it's very nutritious, soft, and it's very good to eat. So next time you try the kabocha squash, try eating the skin too. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut this in half. And it's fairly a hard squash. So you want to use a sharp knife. The Messerstahl knives are very sharp and good to use with that. Now that's what it looks like on the inside. And, but what we're going to do, we'll go ahead and clean out these seeds. They're a very dry um, produce. And so we're actually, when we cook this, we're going to add one quarter cup of water when we're doing it. So here's the squash. That's what it looks like. Now we're going to cut these into about one inch thick pieces, kind of a, a wedge. About like that. Now when you get down to the edge here, make sure that your fingers are not in the way because you don't want to slice your fingers. And we've washed and scrubbed this before we cut it in half. So that's what it looks like, totally cut up. Kind of looks like a C, backward C. And we're going to place them in the large skillet, the platinum large skillet. Okay, make sure the lid fits on there. Great, it will. Now I'm going to add one fourth cup of water. And the reason I'm doing that is because squash is very dense, not much liquid, so I'm going to add the minimum amount of moisture needed to cook it. So we'll put the lid on. We'll set it on the burner. Now this is an induction burner. Platinum cookware is induction ready, but you can use it on any cookware surface that you have in your home. So we'll turn it on, and I'm going to turn it to medium, and then I'm going to let the temperature get up around 95, 90, 95. And when it gets to 95, I'm going to reduce the heat to number two, and then set the timer for 35 minutes. Now you can actually cook the kabocha squash whole. Now if you wanted to do that, you could actually use the wok, and you can actually put two kabocha squashes in here. If you wanted to do some uh, artichokes, you could do that, or some delicata squash. That's another squash that you can also eat the outer, outer skin. So you could put it all on there, still use one quarter cup of water with all those uh, uh, items in there, and then turn the temperature on, let it get up to about 95 again, then turn it to two, but you're going to cook it a little longer because it is whole. So you're going to be cooking about an hour, hour and a half on low temperature and when you're done they are fabulous. Even the artichokes are going to be, be uh, just very, very tasteful done in platinum. So we're going to go ahead and let this cook, um, let it get up to about 95 and I'll be back. Okay, welcome back. Now, it's been about 12 minutes, and so the temperature we're looking, that's right around 95. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and back the heat off. See, it's at uh, medium heat. So I'm going to back it off to number 2, and then I'm going to set the timer for 35 minutes. In 35 minutes, it will be done cooking. Uh, just a little bit about the knife set that I use today. This is the Messerstahl 17-piece knife set, and it also includes the 
um, acrylic stand that you see that the knives are in, which is pretty cool, pretty modernistic. They fit in little individual slots right here. And it's a pretty, pretty cool knife set. And uh, if you notice the, the handles, now they're designed such that when you, your hands are wet, and when aren't your hands wet when you're uh, using a knife, that your hands will grip on the knife and you won't slip. So it's got six steak knives and then another assortment of knives plus a um, carving set that's in with it too. The other item that we used today was the seven piece kitchen tool set, which is pretty awesome in itself. The handles, they're pretty nice looking, very shiny. Um, it's the Messer stall. It comes from the same people that uh, did the knives. So that is uh, an excellent addition to your kitchen. Okay, as you can see, the timer is off. It is ready. So now the way you can tell that the uh, kabocha squash is, is cooked is when you take it. Oh, look at that steam. Oh, that's so awesome. And also remember one of the features of the cookware is the water remains in the lid in this little uh, uh, condensation trough. So that's a, that's a cool thing, plus the lids uh, cradle in the handle. So back to the kabocha. Okay, if it's done, when you put your f knife into it and it goes through the meat and the skin, that means it is done. So let's go ahead and take a couple of these out. And look at the bottom of the pan. Awesome. So there we have it uh, right there. Uh, the kabocha squash. It's an excellent flavored squash. As you can see, it cooks very well. The large skillet. And uh, if you want to add a little olive oil to it before you serve it, you can. And my favorite go-to seasoning is uh, Trader Joe's 21 Salute. And you can actually put some Italian seasoning in when you're cooking it, and I think it'd be great. So let's go ahead and taste a little bit of this. Cooked perfect, skin still on. Awesome flavor. Uh, so that's kabocha squash cooked in platinum. If you have any questions about your platinum cookware, give us a call. 801-679-4227 and check out our website platinumathome.com that's platinumathome.com hey this is Chef Dave bon appetit